so how are the people that you support and engage with involved in program design governance evaluation how are they involved with those things yeah i'm so glad you asked that question because that's the crux of clubhouse it's written right in the mission statement from oasis that it's youth led and youth leadership drives what the priorities are we're structured to have both an advisory committee that's youth and community members who are aware of what's going on with Clubhouse and invested in our work. But really, our youth are, and we tell them this every day, and that's part of their personal growth of feeling empowered and starting to experience and learn the life skills of, hey, going from I want something to how do I get there and, and achieve that? And, and what does it feel like for a young person to be in a space where there's resources to help them get there versus just feeling shut down? Mm -hmm. So it's a huge growth and learning experience for them. But we have, there's, I don't know that there's a program or a field trip we brought on at Clubhouse that the youth didn't voice some interest or desire to see happening. Down to our scheduling, if we stay open on holidays, all these questions are first vetted through our youth leadership team. And then our staff work around what we can do with that. Um, and we are actually one of, we were the first program to actually find opportunities to hire youth to be paid to take on even in larger leadership responsibilities within the clubhouse. And that's been really powerful. A lot of times youth, once they hit 15, 16, they drop out of program because they need to work. Mm -hmm. um, so to have that integrated has kept our youth present with us and just, just allows us to say, hey, help us do the outreach in the community to get more kids in the door. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's crucial to what we do. They're driving the work.